Mollard. Item number, SCP-4135. Object Class, Keter. Special Containment Procedures. Mobile Task Force 571, Duck Hunt, is dedicated to the location and containment of SCP-4135-B instances that manifest. The International Mallard Location Index is designed to track the activity of any specific member of the family, Anatidae. Containment of the SCP-4135-B instance is considered Priority 1, and containment of the SCP-4135-A instance is considered Priority 7. Once the SCP-4135-B instance is confirmed to be contained, the SCP-4135-A instance is to be administered amnestics and released into society. Currently, an SCP-4135-B instance is located within Site-55, in a biological anomalous entity chamber. The chamber is reinforced with steel, and is to be repaired upon signs of damage. Once the current SCP-4135-A dies, the chamber is to be emptied of any duck viscera, and the new SCP-4135-A is to be located by MTF-571. Description SCP-4135 is a phenomenon that affects one random human on Earth, designated SCP-4135-A instances. At any time, SCP-4135 is observed through the spontaneous manifestation of any member of the Anatidae family, usually of black colorization, near SCP-4135-A, designated SCP-4135-B instances. SCP-4135-B will then attempt to kill SCP-4135-A through any means necessary. SCP-4135-B instances are resistant to physical trauma, and quickly recover from most injuries dealt to them over a small period of time. SCP-4135-B instances have shown not to require food, water, or oxygen to survive, and can survive an atomic blast. See attached document 73, Manhattan Project and SCP-4135. When an SCP-4135-B instance is trapped, such as if it is in a container, it will bash its head against the walls of the container until the container breaks. Once the current SCP-4135-A dies, the SCP-4135-B instance will also die, and, almost instantaneously, another random human on Earth will become SCP-4135-A. SCP-4135 usually targets people ages 18-35, to but there have been cases of it targeting children and elderly people as well. Despite being virtually invulnerable, SCP-4135-B instances are no more deadly than the average member of its species. Because of this, SCP-4135-A instances rarely die from SCP-4135-B, and instead die of natural causes. Footnote: This was also determined to be the case before the Foundation discovered SCP-4135.